Hello friends, it is Monday and today I'm having um, a little bit of a craft segment going on here at my table. I've got all my craft stuff out, my hot glue gun. But um, I watched Jelly Bailey and I decided to uh, try to make these, but instead of making a garland with them, I'm making a whole bunch of sheet music. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, ornaments and I have not put the little centers on there I will uh, link the video down below so you guys can see where I got the idea but um, they're coming along I'm just sitting here making as many as I can between loads of laundry today so I hope you guys are doing well I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different vlogging uh, and I just thought that it would kind of take the pressure off of trying to throw as much as I could into three days on the weekend I would just show you something or maybe even a couple some things of what I'm doing um, each day of the week so today's Monday I'm having a great day I hope you guys are too so I'm gonna get back to my craft making thought I would show you my almost finished product prod my almost finished uh, product here um, of my little Christmas ornaments they're actually supposed to be garland in the video that I saw that is Shelly Bailey's but um, I'm going to poke a hole in the top and hang them like Christmas ornaments and I needed something cheap and I wanted to do something music is part of this family's life and so I used a old hymnal that I purchased from uh, Goodwill and then the centers I'm going to use these natural colored wood I guess they're like wood colored uh, buttons so this is well on its way there it is the finished product that came out so cute Happy Tuesday evening, guys. Tonight I'm making caramel apples for everyone. Yum. Here they are, and they're getting ready to go into the oven. Hello, friends. It's Wednesday, and it is a beautiful day outside, and I'm stuck inside doing a huge mound of laundry. Happy Wednesday, guys. There's nothing like that feeling of having all of your laundry folded and your bedroom immaculately dusted and vacuumed. And of course we have some clutter things, but we live here. Um, but I did clean out all my chest of drawers. I straightened out my closet, so it was a big productive day. I've got some blue jeans here that nobody wants, and I'm going to try to do a craft with these at some point in time. Good morning, it is Thursday. I'm starting my morning with making my bed and opening my windows and let some pretty sunshine in. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day today. Okay, my bed is made and it's time to start a beautiful day. And I already have my cup of coffee to get the blood going. Hope you all have a great Thursday. A cherry vanilla at Whole Food and we're splitting a piece of pizza and Scott had to hit the cheese section, right? Right. What did you get? <laughs> we got some cheese. Where's the other one? Some Japanese sweet potatoes and some more cheese. And some crackers. And some you. crackers. <laughs> this is the lunch of champions, guys. Okay, I'm back from shopping, and I thought I would quickly show you what I purchased. I went to William Sonoma because I was in the area, and I was actually looking for a specific type of ladle, which they did not have. This is the outlet. This is not the regular store. This is where you can get stuff, like, really cheap. But anyways, they had all their summer stuff on clearance, and I wanted these over the summer, these uh, popsicle molds. But um, they were $25, and today I actually got them for $5, which was a steal. So I'll be putting these up for summertime, which I was really excited about. 
And then I went to Whole Food, as you know, and we ate. But I'm trying the Japanese sweet potatoes because OCD Much talks about Japanese sweet potatoes all the time. However, these are not as big as the ones that she has in her videos, but I thought I would give it a try to see if I like it. I'm not a big, huge fan of sweet potatoes, but, you know, got to try things. So... I found this pumpkin at the thrift store. That was the first place I went. It still has the tags on the bottom of it. But I thought it was so cute and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna add this to my fall decor and if I don't like this ribbon on it, I can take it off. I just thought it was so cute, so I got that. And then I found this fleece jacket, it's brand new. And um, I don't really familiar with any of these brands, but that's the brand it is. But it's really nice and it's really thick and comfy and it has all these pockets in it and it's a perfect size for my husband. And he's, he's not really one to wear like a really heavy, heavy jacket. And then I found this quick decorating uh, book I thought looked interesting to read. Um, thrift store is awesome place to go uh, find books. And it's by Southern Living. And every time I go to the library, I always check these books out. <laughs> and it's kind of funny that um, I would buy one because these are the books I go for when I go to the library a lot of times. Um, I got a timer. It was brand new. Uh, my husband said he could use it on the Christmas lights or something. I think he paid a quarter for it. And then I found this here, a uh, really pretty uh, sweater, and it is Sag Harbor brand. And I just love the way that it looked and how pretty the buttons are on the front. And I think it'll be a really nice heavy sweater for winter. But that is all I purchased today. So I will be talking to you guys again later. Hey guys, I thought I would check in here with you guys. Um, I know that I, I think this is the first time you guys have seen me in this weekly quick vlog that I've been doing. Um, I'm currently cooking dinner. I don't know if you guys can see it behind me or not, but we are having a uh, honey glaze, balsamic honey glaze drumsticks with uh, mac and cheese and broccoli. I'm waiting for my broccoli to start boiling behind me so I could let it steam. But my husband and I, we decided to have sort of a date day, and today it was gorgeous outside. I mean, the weather was immaculate, and if I look a little windblown, it's because we rode in the truck with the windows down, and, um, you know, it is what it is. But we went to some outlet stores that I haven't been in in ages, and went into a couple stores that I have haven't been in in years, <laughs> um, such as the Pottery Barn. I haven't been in there forever, but they honestly didn't have anything that appealed to me, but um, they were busy. Um, went to Whole Food for lunch today, and it was delicious, and they had the most beautiful fall mums and pumpkins out front, so it was just so nice to get out um, and just kind of have a little bit of a day. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, I hope you guys have been enjoying the quick vlogging, um, you know, day to day. Um, I just decided to try something different because um, I just feel like there's like a lot of pressure to try to entertain you guys. <laughs> and like my life is pretty much being a homebody. I'm not a big shopper. I'm not a big beauty guru. Um, and my kids are not little, so, you know, there's, they do a lot of stuff on their own. Sorry about that. I had to move my phone for a second. But anyways, I am sitting here at my couch, and it is Saturday evening, and every Saturday evening, I go through my list of, let's see if I can get this in there, of where I make a menu out for, which I made a menu out for 31 days, and I go ahead and I, um, I don't know if you guys can see it because it is dark in here, but basically I just go ahead and highlight all the meals that I have already prepared, and then I have a board in my kitchen, like a chalkboard, and then every week I write in there every single day um, what we are going to have. So what you guys think, and also let me know if you guys like these quick videos. Uh, I am planning to do it again this week, so let me know if you guys like it, and I'll be talking to you guys again soon.